Okay, in this, in this video I've wired up an SR latch. Uh, it's a basic, very basic flip-flop uh, or a stable multivibrator. What we, what we have in this circuit is two NOR gates. So I'm using a 7402IC. I'm using two two input NOR gates connected to two switches. Here you can see switch one is going to represent S on our, on our, um, in our flip-flop. It's connected to the input of pin 2, which is pins 2 and 3 are the inputs to the first NOR gate and the output is pin 1. The output of pin 1 is connected into the input of the second NOR gate uh, and the output of the second NOR gate is connected as the second input to the first NOR gate. So you can see that in the diagram uh, to the right. So in this configuration the outputs feed back into the inputs. And this gives us the basis for our, our SOR um, flip-flop. Here you can see that the S value is chosen. So at the moment, well, we, I'm, I have wired two switches in pull-down configuration. So at the moment, we've got two inputs of zero. So zero, zero is giving us uh, our current state. If I press one of the buttons, so if I press the S button, you'll see no change because we're remaining set. So the green LED refers to Q and then the red LED refers to Q bar. So when I press the first, LED, the first switch, it's the S input, and you'll see that we have no effect on the output, that Q remains lit. When I press the OR uh, switch, uh, you can see that the output now goes to uh, Q bar is high and Q is low. Uh, and this is the effect of resetting the uh, flip-flop. So the right-hand side is reset, and the left hand side is set. So set sets the output green, reset sets the output red. The important aspect of this, ice, of, of this circuitry is that now we have an input of zero, zero. So in previous circuits when we input at zero, zero we got a particular state. But in this particular circuit when we input, input zero, zero into this circuit, into this flip-flop, we stay at whatever state we are currently on. So the, out, the input is zero, zero, we pressed reset last so therefore we stay on reset. If I press set that's got an input of one zero. If I let go we go to zero zero. It remains at set on the flip-flop. Again if I press uh, reset so zero one is my input and let go well the output remains on reset. So what we have here is a very very basic memory unit where when the inputs are zero zero we remember the last state that we currently had selected whether that's uh, zero, 01 or 10. It remembers the state. So we can set the memory uh, and it, uh, over time now it will remember our value that we, we set into the uh, flip-flop. One important thing about this particular circuit is that we are not allowed to input 11 and um, this input of 11 will give unpredictable uh, out, uh, will give unpredictable outputs. So that's one downside. So two switches gives four combinations but only three of those are valid. Set uh, one zero reset zero one and uh, latch as we call it is zero zero. So that's our our basic SR flip flop wired using two input NOR gates and um, you can see that it's a it's quite an interesting and and useful circuit. Here I have changed the wiring from the SR latch that we had previous to add in a gating into our circuit. And this we can call a gated SR latch. On the left hand side we have our set and reset uh, switches as before. We have our set and reset um, LEDs to indicate whether we're, we have a set or reset value. And what I've done this time is change the inputs instead of going into the, into the new flip-flop, we've changed the inputs to go into these two uh, two input AND gates. So two two input AND gates are used. Here the inputs are ANDed with this, uh, we'll call it an enable switch, which allows us to control when uh, we set or reset the flip-flop. So in this particular case if I press set or reset you'll see it has no effect at all. However if I press the enable switch the set and reset will work perfectly. So here I've got the uh, enable switch fully pressed. Uh, it still hasn't solved our problem. We still have uh, an unallowed, uh, a not allowed state when both uh, the S and R values are set at the same time. 
um, but you can see that it has allowed us to have some sort of enable to protect when the states can change.